What's up guys, Baker here. Today I have a tutorial. This will be like um, some kind of icy shattered glass with Element 3D for After Effects. And um, unfortunately I do not have a preview right now because every time I try to recreate it, my computer crashes, so hopefully I can just uh, record this on the fly. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and just jump right in. Let's make a new comp. Um, let's make this uh, 720p, 1280, okay, 5 seconds, whatever, okay. Um, you can use this for cinematics or live footage or whatever, but I'm going to do this for like, kind of like an intro sequence with a title and uh, some cool stuff flying around and whatnot. Um, first, let's go ahead and import uh, some texture. So if you go to your Optical Flares uh, plugin folder, you can have uh, some textures and go to the glass folder. And we have all these um, glassy, kind of dirty overlays or whatever you want to call them. Um, let's just import Dodgy. That's the one I'm going to use. And it looks uh, like this. So let's pre-compose. So we got this. Now this is pretty high res. It's 1080p. For a texture on Element, um, this should be fine if your computer can handle it. But if not, we're going to size this down so it can run a little bit faster. So we'll go to Composition, Settings. And we'll just take this and divide by 3. So 640 by 360. Okay. Right click on your layer, transform, fit to comp, boom. Uh, one thing I want to do real quick, and I'll show you why later, is uh, search up motion tile. Put this on. And uh, tile width 50, tile height 50, and mirror the edges. This way, uh, when we import this into elements, we won't get this weird choppy edges on our texture. We want this to kind of mirror and um, yeah. Okay, so back to our main comp. Let's just rename this to main comp. Okay, let's import the texture, dodgy, and turn it off. And make a new solid for element. I'm going to be really pissed if my computer crashes when I load on element. So hopefully it doesn't. And looks like it's alive. Yes. All right. Custom layers. Custom texture. Go ahead and select your dodgy. Okay. Scene setup. So we need to have some uh, 3D model of some shattered glass. Now, um, Video Copilot has a pack, Motion Design, and they have some broken glass 3D files. So we get this like. Uh, sheet of glass and it looks like nothing right now but if we change this to wireframe mode we can actually see the pieces and they have different shapes of glass so you can have uh, like a square window a little bit larger so either uh, pick one that you like or pick a, uh, a size of the glass that fits like if you want this to be in a window and be like a cinematic um, pick one that fits the shape of your window it's so like this so I'm going to delete this one, the square one, and keep this one because this is kind of like the size of an After Effects composition, right? 720 here, 1280 there, kind of widescreen video. Um, yeah, so I'll uh, just turn this off, and if you don't have this file, I'll uh, try to provide it in the description, and you're just going to click import and just import the file. Okay, so let's go to our presets for our materials, and these are just the basic presets that are given to you, and we have glass here. So we'll just throw that on. Looks perfect already. We're done. Just kidding. That does not look icy. So, yeah. So let's turn down the reflection to zero for now, and the refraction down to zero. So it's just back to a plain sheet again. For the diffuse texture, Go ahead and click that and select your custom dodgy texture. So now we get some uh, cool stuff. It's a little stretched, so what we're going to do is click on the name and slide down to UV repeat. So make this maybe 2 by 2, uh, maybe 3. So uh, it scales it down and it has a better aspect ratio and, and whatnot. So that's good for now. Uh, click back onto the texture. We can uh, boost the reflection up. What I don't like is the reflection is just uh, basic whatever this is. 
So I'm actually going to use the custom layer again for the environments so we can kind of see some sparkles. Maybe that represents, uh, I don't know, snow particles or whatever you want this to be. But I kind of like that, maybe boost up the reflection a little bit stronger. And the refraction, maybe not so much because this kind of blows out the actual texture of the glass. So maybe 25%. So kind of subtle, but we can still see the glass. So that's nice. Um, a couple other things. Go all the way down and force opacity. This will actually make the glass kind of see-through. So maybe 75%. You can start to see some of the cracks. Um, that's good. One more thing. I want to bring up the specular amount. That way, when this has uh, shattered, we can see some kind of bright uh, spots and looks extra shiny and stuff. So that's okay for now. Let's go ahead and see what we can do. Click OK. Go to Group 1, Particle Look, and just size this up to fit your screen. So Somewhere around there. It's close enough. We are going to go to Multi-Object and Enable Multi-Object. And we're going to keyframe this random rotation here, the displace value, the scatter z, and if we go to particle replicator, we have position z as well. So keyframe those four things. And what we'll do is go to the end of the animation, and we will displace it a little bit so it kind of shatters it uh, in all directions we can scatter it in the Z space so we get some actual depth uh, which is nice start rotating the pieces so we see that shiny uh, specular coming in pretty nice and position Z just scoot it closer to the camera so it looks like it's kind of shattering towards us and just kind of play with these values so we get some cool like a Totally looks like intro to a movie. I don't know. I think it looks cool. And you can see the see-throughness of the, the transparency and stuff. The pieces are a little big, so what I did was if we go to the beginning, we can keyframe in multi-object their size here. It's one. Click that. Go to the end of the animation and just bring this down. It kinda think of this as like a simple choker, kind of shrinks the pieces a little bit. So maybe like 0.7 not too much because we don't want them actually shrinking you know just uh, I just don't want it to be too overpowering so maybe we can start this at 0.9 pretty nice a um, couple things I want to do let's do a little bit of color correction adjustment layer add some curves and let's go ahead and go to the red, bring this down a touch, blue, bring this up a touch, and green, make a slight contrast curve. Okay, looks pretty good. Maybe go to the RGB and just contrast it just a tiny bit, maybe a, bit, a little bit more definition, the highlights and whatnot. You can add a little bit of glow. On the, uh, let's see if we can get some glow, maybe star glow, threshold, not so high, make it on the very brightest parts, glow radius, so pretty bright, icy, one uh, cool thing, go ahead and make a new camera, whatever size is fine, and let's push AA, and let's just bring up the depth of field, get something nice here. So aperture, maybe like 100 pixels, and then I usually just play with the blur level, maybe 300%. Okay, and the focus distance, let's make this maybe 700. See what that looks like. And it's rendering, one second. There we go. That's probably a little too close, maybe 900. So... There we go. Get some nice depth of field. Don't want to run preview this because it would take too long to render, but I think this looks pretty cool. Very cinematic, artistic, whatever. Um, depth of field really sells it. 
Maybe you can put like a title in your element, 3D text in the background, be like, boom, this is the title of the video, I see stuff, and um, yeah, maybe add some particular for some snowy particles, but this is pretty much it, the shattering glass, depth of field, very, very sexy, I think. Um, let's see, anything else I want to add? Maybe you can add uh, 3D lights to increase the sharpness of the specularity of the pieces give it some nice atmosphere some more depth look to it but that's pretty much it using custom texture from uh, optical flares or whatever you want from google using that as diffuse in the environment and a little bit of color correction and there is your glass your icy glass shattered pieces so sexy and I think it looks awesome. If you make something, go ahead and post a link in the description. I know they don't have uh, video responses anymore, but that's pretty much it. Be sure to like and favorite the video. Comment if you have any questions. Hit me up on Facebook and Twitter. All that good stuff. And, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed and learned something new and stuff. All right. Peace.